What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we are rocking out with a G-Max Swift Swim Dragonall team that also features one of my favorite Pokemon of all time, Sand Rush X Control. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button to stay up to date with all of my content. We got brand new Series 13 content coming out for Pokemon Sword and Shield showcasing all the mythicals. And then we got Splatoon 3 coming out in September as well. And then you guys know down the road, we got Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. So if you guys want to stay up to date with content, guides, all that good stuff, like I said, hit that subscribe button. Join the Jeans community. But before we get started with today's team preview, I want to give a huge shout out to the team creator, my boy Masai. Thank you so much for leaving this team for me. Cannot wait to use it. Cannot wait to showcase the Drenal and the Excadrill. But without further ado, let's get started in that top left corner with the one and only Kyogre. It's got Drizzle to set that rain to pair up well with that Swift Swim Drenal. It's got the Choice Scarf as its item, so it can pretty much outspeed most Pokemon. Then it's got Water Spout, Ice Beam, Thunder, and Origin Pulse for a lovely move set. Second Pokemon is going to be Rollaboom over here, and Rollaboom is just good in most situations. It's got the Grassy Surge for Terrain Control, alongside with that Extra Belt as its item. It's got Grassy Glide for first turn priority and Stab inside that Grassy Surge. It's got Fake Out for Flinches, Protect, and then High Horsepower for a lovely coverage move. Middle left is going to be our Assault Vest Zapdos. Zapdos is just such a good Pokemon, especially when Dynamax. It's got Thunderbolt, it's got Hurricane for Stab and for Speed Control when Dynamax. It's got Heat Wave for Coverage, and then last but not least, it's Rockin' Weather Wall because, you know, it has Assault Vest, so it has to rock at least four hitting moves. Fourth Pokemon on the squad is going to be our Prankster Thunderous with the Safety Goggles as its item. It's got Fly for Stab, Wild Charge for Stab, and then it's got Rain Dance to set the rain and take Weather Control. And then last but not least, it has Scary Face to actually take Speed Control away from opposing Pokemon. Bottom left hand corner is the one and only Excadrill. I love this Pokemon so much. Such a cool design and I love its typing with the ground and steel. It's got that Sand Rush ability alongside with that Focus Ash and then it's got EQ, Iron Head, Rock Slide, and Protect. Final Pokemon is going to be that Dreadnought. Swift Swim to double its speed and rain and then it's got that Life Orb as its item to do more damage. It's got Head Smash, Liquidation, Protect, and Mega Horn. And the reason you bring it in with the Excadrill is because Dreadnought's, uh, what is it? It's G-Max move which sets like Stealth Rocks. It changes the weather, or no, it doesn't set South Rocks. The water one changes the weather, but when you use its Rock Stab move, it changes the weather. So if you're ever in a situation where you're just like, dude, I don't really want to change the weather because then I lose my Swift Swim, use the Rock move, and then you can get extra out there and use the Sand Rush to double speed. Net. So it works out really good when you change up the weather with the Dreadnought. But guys, there's Team Preview. If you want to write this code for yourself, the code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on our right double ladder. Look to get some wins with this Dreadnought and Extra Series 12 team. First battle coming at you guys, and we're going up against a Sassy and Kyogre team. Man, I cannot wait for Series 13. Just a great change because Series 12 was definitely a lot of fun, but it's been going on for way too long. We definitely need a change, so Series 13 is going to be a lot of fun being able to use a bunch of different Pokemon that we haven't been able to use in the past. But we're going up against Sassy and Kyogre. He has Shen Ninja, also have a card Tana, Incineroar, and Thunders. Which Thunders, I don't know if this is a Prankster one or a, uh, or a Defiant one, but we don't have any Intimidate Pokemon. How should I play it? How should I go into it? I could go Kai Ogre. I could go hmm, Dreadnought right off the rip. Dreadnought's not too bad. Dreadnought, Kai Ogre, bring x and then maybe like Zapdos. I mean, we only have one restricted mod, I just realized that. But hopefully we can grab some wins with this. Hopefully we can grab some wins. I do like the Kai Ogre. I mean, he's probably, he probably might be rocking fake out with Pokemon. I might just go Dreadnought, Kai Ogre. Which I really do like. Kai Ogre into Dreadnought and then roll into x and Zapdos in the back end. Or do I roll Rollboom? Rollboom's really not too bad here. I could go Thunderous for speed control, but I just like Zapdos. It has a Heat Wave too for that Cortana. I'm digging it. And it has Heat Wave that's super effective onto that uh onto that little bug right there. That little bugger. The little bug. A little Shen Ninja, yo, because Shen Ninja is an absolute pain. It's an absolute pain to deal with, so we're gonna try to get after him. We're gonna try to get after him. But yo, before battle number one even starts, you guys gotta let me know in the comment section down below for question of the day do you guys like the new updated graphics for pokemon scarlet Bob? because in my opinion from what everything i've seen the pokemon look 10 times better than they ever did so you guys let me know your guys answers in the comment section down below he's gonna end up leading incineroar alongside with shen ninja and i don't really mind it i mean he's gonna get that intimidate on my dreadnought i could still dynamax him if i want or i could just straight go into a head smash what do i want to do here what does jeans want to do here i could dynamax just drop a rock get the buffets rolling all that good stuff I don't mind that. I don't mind that. I think he's gonna fake me out, right? You gotta fake me out. You have got to fake me out. I mean, I could go for the water spout. I could definitely go for the water spout. The water spout's not bad. 
Yeah, I'm gonna go for the water spell. I'm gonna twist that water spell, and I'm just gonna Dynamax, even though minus one, and I am just gonna drop a rock fall. Right over in this slot, right? Yeah, it's fine. Just in case he fakes out my Kyogre. We'll see what he wants to do. We shall see what he wants to do. But then Buffets are going to play a huge role off onto the Shed Ninja. Unless it's safety guys. But chance are it's Focus Ash, right? It's gotta be Focus Ash. Right? It has got to be Focus Ash. So it gets that 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 double little wonder guard action. Those Shed Ninjas are Focus Ash. But I really do like this turn. Again, I'm minus one, but still. I know it can still hit pretty good. It has the life orb. It can do some damage. And plus, we change up that weather to help out with the buffets alongside with getting our extra in the late game. So I really do like it. I really do like it. It's not bad. It is not too shabby. And then I can always swap Kyogre for later usage. For lovely later usage. So we're going to get out of Dreadnought. Look at him, yo. G Max Dreadnought. Get F. Get an F. Get an F. Love this Pokemon. Such a cool Pokemon. I use him in my Sword and Shield play through team. And we're just gonna drop a rock ball. And this thing outspeeds the choice scarf Kyogre in the rain. Rock ball is going to do a good amount of damage. Probably take him out, right? Yeah, we get rid of him. Water spouts are really going to do nothing now. And Buffett's just gonna fly on the Shed Ninja, which is really, really good for us. And do Buffett's take off Focus Sash? Like, I don't think they trigger Focus Sash. I think they might just take him out. Let's see what it, what happens here. Kyogre's gonna go for a water spout. This thing has a lovely little Wonder Guard, and he's gonna eat up here. He's just gonna go for a Poltergeist. And he's gonna, oh, he's gonna attack me with my life orb. How dare you? How dare you do that? Buffett's gonna fly. Kyogre's gonna take some. Shit Ninja take some too? Yes, sir. And does that take him out? It does take him out. Beautiful. <laughs> we get rid of Shit Ninja too. So solid first turn from the boy. The Swiss from Dreadnought is buzzing. That's really, really good. Okay, so now we're a little bit slower. I mean, we still have our choice card. We're still choosing a water spout, which is really good. We don't have rain, but it's not a bad. It's not a bad turn. Still out speed with that choice scarf, so we can get off some good old damage. And he sets the rain for us again. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So he sets the rain for us again. I might drop another rock. I don't know if I want to drop another rock. Maybe not just yet. I could go and get the special attack drop with the with the other move. And maybe drop the rock next turn. Because we have the speed all day. We have the speed all day. So you know, I'm just gonna go for a water spout. I'm just gonna go for a flutter by right into the slot. Even though it's not gonna do too much damage. I really do want to get the special attack drop. And then if I can set the rocks next turn or the sandstorm next turn for my extra to come in here and clean up the battle. I do like it. I do like where we're sitting. Actually, oh, is this our final turn? Oh no, we only use one turn. We only use one turn. So dude, we're sitting great. We are sitting in a good position. He's probably he's gonna dynamax his Kyogre, right? He's gotta. If not, we outspeed him. He's, he ain't really gonna do too much. So let's see. Yeah, there's Dynamax for Kyogre. I think he might even protect the Zacian. But if he doesn't protect Zassian, he's going to take a huge chunk of damage to this, uh, to this Water Spout. This Water Spout can do some big time damage. Some big time damage. But yo, this seems like a lot of fun. I just want to get out Extra. It could be really cool if we can showcase Extra and Genoa on battle number one. But yeah, he died next to the Kyogre. We're going to go first. We're going to drop a nice little Flutter by, Mainly just for that special attack drop. I know we're not doing too much damage, but still. I want that special attack drop all day on this Kyogre. Get that special attack drop on that little booger. On that little booger but out goes that and now water spout should come out second which should be lovely it's gonna do some good damage to zassian and it does not take him out but still like i said good damage to zassian all around and now zassian's just gonna pop a player off and i might have to swap him next turn if not never mind he just dies he just dies he just dies and then from here he's just gonna go for a geyser you should be able to eat this up general if you do not eat this up i'm gonna cry a little bit hurts the soul that hurts the soul Drenol does not eat that up. That's the only thing that sticks about him. He's a water and rock. And he gets ripped on by water. Hurts the soul. Hurts soul, but we have two more Pokemon in the back end. We have Extra Drill with the Focus Ash, and we have Zapdos over here with that Assault Vest, which works pretty well. It works rather well. Um, okay. So from here, Extra Drill has Focus Ash, which works wonders. And Zapdos should be able to outspeed Kyogre. Zapdos should be able to outspeed Kyogre. Right? Let me see your speeds. Let's see your speeds, boys. Extra might be able to outspeed Kyogre. That does definitely. Extra might. Extra might have have that. I think he does. This could work really well for us. And then from here, I could just pop an EQ. They're free. Which I'm going to do. I'm going to pop an EQ. And then I'm just going to Thunderbolt straight into this uh, Kyogre slot. So let's see what it does. We do have a Soul Fest. He does go for Sacred Sword here. That's totally fine. Again, both these Pokemon should be able to outspeed. Focus Dash is going to poke out here. And if Extra Joel outspeeds, that should be pretty much GG's, right? Thunderbolt comes out here. Bang. Big time damage. Give me the Paralyze. Give me the Para. And we get the Para. Ooh, making us 
permanently outspeed. EQ is going to fire. Should be able to take out Zassi, no problem. And then I wonder what Kyogre's going after. I wonder what Kyogre's going after. I mean, that should be GG's regardless, right? We have speed. Unless he's choice scarfed and he comes out here. Oh, he goes. What well, Hailstorm comes out here? That's a smart play. That should be able to soak, right? All right, never mind. Cool. The smart play right there. Hailstorm comes out here and that's going to take out my extra drill. So the Hailstorm was a beautiful play, but we have a Soul Fest. We made it minus one, which was a great call by us. And now Zapdos just outspeeds it. That should be game. But yo, extra drill coming in clutch. Getting that EQ off. Doing some nice damage on the Kyogre and finishing off that Zassian. So solid turn and solid game for us. Solid, solid game. Thank God I put that thing minus one. And we have the Soul Vest on top of that. But Thunderbolt's going to fly here. Kyogre, there's no way you can outspeed us. We got the Paralyze. And that's GG's battle was canceled. What a way to get this video started with a nice little victory and getting to showcase the Drenal and Extra Drill in Battle Number 1. Battle Number 1 went perfectly, came down to the wire, and we grabbed ourselves that win. But we're hopping into our second battle, going up against another Kyogre and Zassian team, but this time with Landers, Thunderous, and then he's got Indeedee and Incineroar. So nothing new, nothing new. We've seen this team plenty of times. So hopefully we can get after it and win ourselves Battle Number 2. But how should I play this one? How should I go into it? He could lead to Intimidate Pokemon, which could be that... uh. Incineroar, but I feel like he's not considering we have like a prankster Pokemon right here on the field. But I still want to lead Kyogre. I feel like Kyogre can be really, really good. I feel like Kyogre can work wonders. I could also go Drenol again. I like the Drenol. I like the Drenol and I like the Extra Drill. I just like those Pokemon. I feel like they wor do work and they rip around. I might go Zapdos again because again, Zapdos is a solid Pokemon. Just, it just does work. It just does work. So you know what, dude? We're going to lock in that same squad. We are going to get after again. It's something I didn't mention in battle number one or even in the team preview is your boy is taking teams over on Twitter. If you guys have teams for me, leave them at, in my Twitter, either my DMs or tweet at me. Link is down in the description below. Gene YouTube over on Twitter. And if you guys want to make me series 13 teams or if you already have series 13 teams, get them to me. Get them to me over on Twitter because I'm trying to get every single team lined up and prepared for when series 13 comes out. Just so I can record with your guys' team and showcase every single minute. On. So if you guys are interested in building me teams, DM me over on Twitter or just tweet at me, like, yo, Jeans, what team do you want me to build or what mythical Pokemon do you want me to build? And I'll build a team around it. So if you guys are interested, like I said, head over to that Twitter page. He ends up, do he does end up leading this. It kind of bothers me. I don't like that. But still, I can just water spout. And you know what? I could just head smash or I could just double down with liquidation. This head smash is a great move, but it also damages me ridiculously. It's no bueno. I could liquidation here. Hmm. Much as liquidation, because I know Water Spout takes him out all day. Water Spout should be able to take out the uh, the landers all day. But I'm just gonna go straight after this little Pokemon. He's gonna end up withdrawing the Lando. And who are you gonna go into? Kyogre yourself? Yeah, he's gonna go into Kyogre himself. And Eerie Impulse is gonna fly here. And you're gonna go after him. I still feel like we take out this uh I still think we take out this uh the Stunners, because we're doubling down. Liquidation should be able to do a huge chunk of damage into this thing. And then Water Spout should be able to clean that up, right? Should be able to get the cleanups here. Water Spout coming in hot. Bill, see you later. Beautiful. We love it. Let's get rolling. I might head smash in that Kyogre. We might have to do that. Oh, we got a crit. That's beautiful. I think he's going to go back into Landers. Just for Intimidates. Let's see what he does. He's going back into Lando. Or he might go into Zassian at this point. I kind of want him to. I kind of want you to. What he does. What is your play, kind sir? Anybody but the landers. Anybody but the landers. This is ass. Okay, so Zassian's gonna poke out here. Uh, we have speed with this choice scarf. I mean, we could double down into the. Uh, we could definitely double down into the. Let's go if we want to. The Zassian, but I feel like it's gonna protect. So you know, what? I might just head smash here. I might just head smash. Do I head smash? I could Mega Horn. <laughs> we do have Mega Horn. I just want to go for the head smash. Get some damage off here. We still have Dynamax in the back end, and we can save it. I like I like where we're sitting here. He's going to Dynamax. No, he doesn't Dynamax. So Head Smash is going to connect. Get it, Head Smash. Let's go. Let's go, Dreadnought. <laughs> Yo, I love me some Dreadnought. Dreadnought's doing some work. He's doing some work. We're going to take a big chunk of recoil damage there, and then we're going to take a Light Orb on top of that. But, yo, for base 150 and to get rid of that Kyogre, it's a huge turn for, from us. It's a huge turn from us. Then we get off a Water Spaddle on the Zacian. We love it. Sacred Sword's going to fly. He's going to take out my Dreadnought. That's totally fine. That is totally fine because we know our Kyogre outspeeds that, uh... We know, it's, we know the Kyogre outspeeds his Zacian, which is beautiful. So, we pose a threat to that. I can bring an extra drill, and I can go into a lovely little, uh... 
a lovely little rock ball. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go into the rock ball, set the sand while she's going to have to die next time. Harrison, we are, we are killing it right now. We are killing it. I don't know why. I always play better with off-meta teams. I just feel like maybe there's less pressure. I, I don't know. I, I, I have no idea. I always play better with off-meta teams. <laughs> I always do. But now we're just going to pop a water spout. I'm just going to Dynamax. I'm just going to drop a rock ball. A lovely little rock ball. A wonderful little rock ball. I mean, he did intimidate me. We are minus one, but still. Extra's the dog. He is the main. I love me some extra drill, dude. One of my favorite Pokemons of all time. Hands down. Hands down. I know I say a lot of Pokemon are my favorite Pokemon, but like, there are so many Pokemon. Like, you can have like a top 20 category Pokemon, you know? But Extra is in my top five, dude. I always love this Pokemon. I think he's super, super cool. Sceptile is definitely up there. I feel like you can't just have one favorite Pokemon. You have to have like 10. <laughs> you have to have like 10. And then like, there's like another group of 10, which are still your favorite Pokemon, but aren't in your top 10 category. But Extra is definitely up there for me. Sceptile's up there for me. I feel like Sharpedo might... He's like mid. Sharpedo's like middle. I do love me some Sharpedo. Reloom, I love. Reloom might be top 10 for me. Just think it's a really cool Pokemon. Yeah, Extra's always cool. He's going to end up protecting Zacian. Kind of saw that coming, but it's totally fine because we're going to take speed from all these guys in just a second. Water Spout is going to fly, and we might be able to even take out Landers here. Not, not with this Water Spout. With the Water Spout and the uh, Rock Fall. But if not, we'll get rid of it next turn. Rockfall is going to fly through here. And we already have speed, but now we're even faster. So, that is going to chip up some damage. I could just go for Max Quake next turn into the Zacian. And it really depends on who he's going to do damage on to. Who are you doing damage on to? He's going to go for an Airstream into my Kyogre. That's going to be a little bit of a pain right there. Okay, he takes me out. Wow, that did, did a chunk of damage. A big chunk of damage. Did a big chunk of damage. He's going to get a little bit of speed. But extra should be faster than Zacian. So, I'm just going to take out the Zacian this turn. And then I'm just going to get after that. Uh, you know? That's lovely. And we saw our focus ash, which is gorgeous. Which is gorgeous. So setting the setting the sandstorm was definitely the play. Because we got extra out here buzzing. Buzzing quickly. So we're going to hope that this uh, this Zacian doesn't land a uh, a double protect. Because then, then we would have a problem. Then we would definitely have a problem. And I could just drop a weather ball. I might drop a hurricane. I think weather ball would be a better option here, right? A little bit of rock weather. <laughs> a little bit of rock weather ball. And then we just drop a nice, lovely... Uh, I could go for a Steel Spike for the defense boost, but I want to make sure this Zacian goes down. Even though I feel like Steel Spike should be able to take it out. I just think Quake's the... Quake's... Quake, Quake! It's Quake, you know? It's super effective. We can guarantee the KO, you know? Even though, yeah, Steel Spike could have definitely taken him out. We could have taken the defense boost. Probably would have been a better play. I just feel like sending the, sending the Quake. We get the crit. We get the special defense boost, which is going to do nothing. And it's pretty much over because he cannot take out my extra... Because I have Focus Ash, and then we outspeed all day, and he doesn't have any first fire to move. So, this beautiful Weather Ball comes out here, and Weather Ball doesn't get the job done. He's going to end up quaking into my x and x says, yo, that's tasty snacky out there. Let me eat that one up all day with my Focus Ash. <laughs> Good old Focus Ash coming out there, clutching up, and that's why I love the Focus Ash on this guy. He's going to end up getting that special defense boost, and he dies to Life Orb anyway. So, there it is, guys. GG's 2-0 with his amazing squad. Got the Showcase Orb extra in battle number two. But now I can hop into battle number three, have some fun with it, and go for a perfect record. Final battle coming at you guys. Let's get after it, and let's grab ourselves a perfect record for today's video. We're going up against a Azumarill team with Zacian and Lugia. And we know the power of Azumarill. We used it twice recently. Like, in the past month, we used Azumarill twice, and it just... It just does absolute work with a huge power, and it's a great move set. But he also has the Landers. He has the Grimstone for support, and then he has Incineroar for his final Pokemon. I kind of want to lead the uh, Rillaboom here. kind of like the Rillaboom. But again, two Intimidate Pokemon. I don't know if he's even going to lead one, because we do have Thunderous. But this Thunderous is Prankster. <laughs> he is a Prankster Thunderous, which kind of hurts his soul. I mean, we could go into, like, these two and just set the Rain with Dreadnought. And get after it. But again, if he Intimidates, it hurts his soul. I'm thinking just going Kyogre. I think Kyogre just rips. Go so Kyogre. Maybe Roll Boom alongside with that. So we can fake out. We can Grass Glide if he goes into the Zoom Rail. We just have a lot of different options we can actually roll into. So yeah, I'm going to go Kyogre. I'm going to go Roll Boom. And then I'm going to roll in with... Do I go Drenol or do I go Extra? I do like Extra against a lot of these Pokemon. So you know what? I'm going to end up going Extra. And then... Mm, final Pokemon Zapdos? Or do we go Thunders? I like Zapdos. I do like Zapdos. That's just great all around. So we're going to lock it in. We're going to lock it down. We're going to look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number three. Going for that perfect record. 
one for the perfect record video. We had a great video today. Grab ourselves two wins. Let's just let's just not get sw swept here, because you guys know my three or my two rules. What what, what would the third rule be? I was I was gonna say three rules, but I have two rules on the channel. One is we do not go 0 and three. We have never gone 0 and three in recording a uh, battle or th a set of three battles. And two is I don't get swept. So we can't get swept here. He goes Zassian. He goes with Lugia. Um, he's gonna Dynamax Lugia. So I might just fake out the Lugia, just take off his multi-scale. And he might even protect Sassy. Hmm. This Jeans one do here. I might just Grass Glide in Lugia. He's gonna Dynamax the Lugia and probably protect Sassy. Right? It makes a lot of sense. It does make a lot of sense. I still want a water spout here. Water spout's my best bet. I could go into I might fake out just in case, but like. He's gonna Dynamax. I'm just gonna fake out just in case. He's gonna Dynamax the Lugia. We can take off the multi skill and we get hitting. I know he did. Which is Assy? I'll take that all day. Which is Assy? And he's going to go into who? Azumarill. I love you, Azumarill. And. Oh, he does not. Yo, that's beautiful. Because now I can just grass guide into that. Okay, that, that's even better for us. Well, good thing we did go for the fake out. Water Spout's going to poke here. We're getting off some big damage. I can Water Spout again. And then I can just grassy guide right into Azumarill, right? GG's. Not GG's, but still. Big time damage coming out here. No Intimidates on us. Oh, dude, that's lovely turns. Give me that again. Water Spout, Glide going into Azumarill. I love it. I'm surprised he didn't protect that Zacian and Dynamax. I seriously thought that, that was his plan. That probably would have been better for him because then he could have just airstreamed into my Robo and potentially picked up the KO, get off some big damage, and rolled out from there. We'll take some speed with him as well. So, I don't know, dude. We'll take it because I wasn't even going to fake him out. I was just going to be like, yo, let's Grass Glide, do a bit more damage. But then I was just like, maybe if he doesn't, on the off chance he doesn't Dynamax, we'll get the flinch. And that's exactly what happened. Off chance prevailed for us. <laughs> it prevailed. It prevailed. Protect's gonna come out here from Azumarill. It's fine. He's not Dynamaxing. It's fine. You're not Dynamaxing. I can grab this guy next turn. You're not gonna take me out. Actually, you could with an Arrow Blast. Arrow Blast can do some work. A lovely Arrow Blast can do some work. But the, the problem here is then I just bring out Zapdos next turn and take out the Azumarill. Azumarill is rather slow. And this thing is gonna recover. Okay, you, that, that's fine. And we just do the same exact thing. You're leaving my Kyograph full HP. I'll, I'll, I'll play the slow game all day because I'm just going to grass glide right into him. And whoever you swap into is not taking kindly to this water spout. <laughs> this water spout is ripping. Unless he Dynamaxes here. Like, Dynamax would probably be the play. He should have Dynamax Lugia a while ago. First turn, he should have done it. First turn, he should have done it. Now he's in like a little bit of a pickle. You could tell he's taking a little bit of his time trying to think out his plays. And figure out what he should do because he knows he's in a tough position. But something I want to mention that I haven't mentioned in a little bit. Oh, here comes Dynamax. Finally, I was looking for it. But something I want to mention is I just want to give a huge shout out to all my viewers and all, all everybody who leaves comments saying some kind words, saying they enjoy the videos, the videos make their day, all that good stuff. Seriously, that's the reason why I do it. Shout out to all you guys. Shout out to all you guys. Thank you guys so much for the support, watching the videos, and actually enjoying them. Really just go a long way. Content every single day over here. Every single day over here. He's going to end up going for a helping hand, so... Roboom is going to go down here, probably, to an airstream. But uh, Grass Guide is going to take out Azumarill. So, yeah, like I said, he should have Dynamax Lugia a while ago. We still have Zapdos, who I may end up Dynamax here. It depends on who he brings out here. Water Spouts can come out here. And the, good, the best part about taking out that Azumarill right there is that nobody else gets his airstream boost besides... Oh, he goes after Kyogre. Cool with that. He goes after Kyogre. He goes after Kyogre. Now he should probably bring back out Zassian, right? Do I let Kyogre down here? Or do I swap him? I could definitely swap him into like a Zapdos. Hmm. Let's see who he brings out. I end up throwing out Grimstone, which I don't mind. I don't mind. I really... That would be the time to swap Kyogre, right? Into Zapdos? I kind of like the Dynamax with the extra drill. He has Zacian in the back end. I mean, we have EQ. We can do a lot of work with EQ. Um, I kind of like this move in here. And then just gliding into Crimson. I'll get off as much damage as we can. Yeah, because if Kai Ogre, if we just have Kai Ogre come into the late round, he has Choice Scarf. He can outspeed pretty much anything. And we can just set the rain and drop an orange pulse. Kind of just get after battle that way. But I did like that. He's going to end up going for Fake Out. He's going to Fake Out my Roll Boom. God dang it. And are you going to Airstream my Roll Boom? Let's see. He's going to Airstream into... Zapdos slots. Zapdos eats that. Cool. So Zapdos eats that. I mean, he's plus two on speed. 
His Dynamax turns are over, right? Is that all of his turns over or no? No, that, he has one more. He has one more. So speed's going to go in his favor. Uh, he can do some work on me. But I do have that Soul Fest. I'm surprised he hasn't Airstreamed into my roll just yet. At this point, I'm just going to Thunderbolt. Try to get rid of you. And just Grassy Glide right into the Grimmie. Right into the Grimmie. Still have Dynamax. You got to remember that. We still have Dynamax. We still have lovely Dynamax. But I got to save for extra. We'll drop the Rock. Set the Sand. Get after a battle that way. Or I can just Quake in the Zacian. I do dig it. I do dig it. And plus, we are Steel type. We could just Steel Spike into Grimstarl. Extra just does a lot of work. Dude, my boy Extra Drill, yo. He's so good. He's so good. I remember back before, like, Restrictus were even a thing, like, Titar and Extra Drill was the combo. That was the combo. I remember I used to use a team like that. I used to rip. But he's going to end up tricking me. And what's he going to take my Assault Vest? I'll take my Assault Vest. My Assault Vest. Not my Assault Vest. He's just going to go for an Airstream. And we should be able to eat that up. Oh, nope. It's in the roll room. I thought it was into my uh, Zapdos. Oh, yeah, that's totally fine. We're going to take some speed. I think we take out Lugia here. I think we take out Lugia. I think we just get rid of Lugia, right? With this T-Bolt. Lovely little T-Bolt. Says, see you later, Lugia. Beautiful. So now I could just bring out Kyogre. I probably am. I probably am just going to bring out Kyogre. Right? I probably am just going to bring out Kyogre. Is that the rain again? And I'm going to try to win this battle without Dynamaxing. Exactly what I'm going to do. That is exactly what we're gonna do. I can bring an extra drill next or later. Just sash up. So yeah, let's just do this. Let's just bring out the Oogs. Let's just bring out the Ogre. He's probably sitting there like, oh, I probably outspeed the Kyogre. Nah, you don't. You don't. We're choice. Choice on this Ogre. So I can drop an Origin Pulse. Origin Pulse can get off some mean damage. The only thing that he can do that could kind of like pester me would be set up a Light Train. But I have to double down his Ascian, right? Get Hurricane here. Oh, wow. No, I think Thunderbolt will do more. Thunderbolt and then just Origin Pulse. This Kyogre should go first over everybody. And I feel like even if he sets up a Light Screen, we should be able to take out that Grimstone with this Rain Stab Origin Pulse. It's just really, really good. But obviously, if 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 I wasn't trying to, like, win without Dynamaxon, I probably should have went in Exodol and just Dynamax him. But I'm trying to win without Dynamaxon. It'd be really cool to end the battle this way or the video this way. So let's go, yo. Trying to win without the Dynamax. Just cancel the battle and give it to me easily. Just give it to me easily. But yo, we are buzzing in today's video. Absolutely just tearing through teams. Loving it. Origin Pulse is going to double connect, which is amazing. Should be able to take out Grimstarl, right? No problem. And maybe even Zacian. Doesn't even take out Grimstarl. That hurts the soul. That one hurts the soul, actually. <laughs> I don't like this game. I don't like this game. He's going to take me out. Okay, that's fine. Take out my Kyogre. That's fine. That means Thunderbolt is going to connect. I do not see Grimstarl taking me out, and then I can just Dynamax my extra drill. For safe play. Oh, Foul Play's gonna come in here. Foul Play's gonna come in here, but we eat up. We eat up. Thunderbolts can come out. The KO should, right? It does. Beautiful. Okay, that's GG's. That's GG's. We're still gonna win this battle without Dynamaxing. I'm not Dynamaxing the extra. I don't care. I don't care. I'm not Dynamaxing the extra. We're not doing it. We're not doing it. We're not doing it. Beautiful. It's always nice when you win a battle without Dynamaxing, but here we go. We're just going to send a nice little Thunderbolt, and then I'll just Iron Head across, but I think our opponent just clearly cancels the battle, right? Or is this guy like, nah, yo, I never cancel battle. Nope, he cancels the battle, and there it is, yo, a perfect record with this Dreadnought and the X-Control team. It's one thing to grab ourselves a perfect record with any team in Pokemon Sword and Shield, but it's another thing to grab ourselves a perfect record and go 3-0 with an Exodrill and Dreadnought off-meta team that only features one restricted Pokemon. I can't believe we grabbed ourselves a perfect record. Absolutely dominated today's video. Dominated one and third and final battle without Dynamaxing and legit just rolled out with the Kyogre, Exegel, and Dreadnought. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positive today. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.